And welcome everybody to a new show called Our Friend Oscar, a show dedicated to our favorite award show, the Oscars. Uh, I thought this was about Sesame Street. <laughs> that would be awesome, you know. <laughs> That's well, the biopic Hollywood <laughs> needs to make. I want to know how we ended up in that trash can. <laughs> I would pay to go see that. I really would. I would oh, pay. If they did like a gritty biopic like, real world with, like, the little brother dying and heroin <laughs> abuse and, like, divorcing their first wife for a, a Sesame Street character, that would be the greatest movie ever made. If you realize if Jim Henson was alive, I really think that could be a possibility. <laughs> because he, he has that sick, weird sense of humor and, you know, yeah, Sesame Street is towards kids, but the Muppets... Yeah. They're pretty adult, so I could see that working very well. I could see every parent going nuts just because it's... <laughs> it's puppets. <sighs> it's puppets and it's Oscar and Rouch. Everyone grew up with Oscar Rouch. Bullshit. But uh, I am the I am one of the hosts of this show. I am Todd. I, Brian, I, I waved at the microphone. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I do that all the time with another web show. So, I mean, it's it's completely Okay. <laughs> And like I said, this show is dedicated to the Oscars and the road up to it. And the past two weeks, there's been tons of news. When you said this is dedicated to the Oscars, I started hearing Billy Crystal sing in my head. <laughs> All I'm thinking about every time I hear the Oscars, I'm thinking Neil Patrick Harris. I'm thinking Neil Patrick Harris because he oh, is the yeah, host. He's hosting this year. Which oh, I, I'm excited. But I bet he's going to do a musical number. He better. If, if he doesn't do a musical number, I would be very shocked and very surprised. I mean, even um, Seth MacFarlane did a musical number, so I mean... I like Seth MacFarlane's musical number. <laughs> I don't know what they were expecting when they got Seth MacFarlane. You, you know, I wasn't really expecting that. Like, in the back of my head, it's like, he's not going to do some stupid, disgusting, you know, I saw your boobs. I saw. I wasn't expecting it. I really thought he was going to take it, like, completely serious. The and, moment for me when that went from being, like, kind of a, like, okay, that's a funny bit, tongue-in-cheek, kind of sexist, was when he like pulled back the thing. It was like, ladies and gentlemen, the gay man's choir <laughs> of Los Angeles. I loved that. That was yeah. one of my favorite Oscar moments ever. That and John Stewart's cowboy uh, montage, which I still can't find on YouTube. That's sad. You know, I'll you know, I think I have it recorded, so I'll put it on YouTube for you, just awesome. for you. Um, so the Golden Globes have been announced for you know, obviously. For all the great, important films. And Look, Annie. Yeah, Annie got nominated. I, I was really surprised, to be honest with you. I really was surprised that it did not get nominated for Best Musical because the Golden Globes tend to vote for shit. <laughs> and it's, it's got a lot of studio money behind it. Yeah. If they, could have, if they could put on their ads on TV, Golden Globe nominated for Best Picture. Mm. So More people would download it. <laughs> Thank you, North Korea. <laughs> oh, North Korea, you're adorable. <laughs> but um, usually what leads up the Golden Globes leads up to the Oscars. So usually the best pictures that get nominated usually get nominated for the Oscars. So we have the, we're going to talk about these nominations. For best motion picture drama, we have Boyhood. Uh, Foxcatcher. The Imitation Game. Selma. And The Theory of Everything. I haven't seen any <laughs> of those movies. I only know what uh, three of them are. I what know. Is, what is Foxcatcher? That is a very good question. What is Find Out? Is, the, are the, <laughs> is this seriously a movie with uh, what's his name from Magic Mike? <laughs> And up, up for a major Best Picture award for drama. Could be. Holy. <laughs> like I said, they tend to vote for shit. It starts Steve Carell and Ch Chan Tatum and Mark Steve Ruffalo. Steve Carell, Mark Ruffalo. Well, Mark Ruffalo's good. I mean. Yeah. The, the Olympic West Wrestling Championships. Okay. So, That's so. why it's Channing Tatum. Yeah. All right. That makes, that makes sense. Yep. Um, yeah, I... I only know two of them, actually. <laughs> I've heard of all five of them, but I've, I've, I know two of them. I know Boyhood and The Theory of Everything, just because I'm excited to see The Theory of Everything. 
Uh, I'm excited to see the imitation game. It's about Alan Turing. I really hope that's his first name. <laughs> uh, it stars Benedict Cumberbatch. What I've what I've heard is that it kind of plays fast and loose with elements of like real world elements of history, and uh, some of the direction choices are not great. But Cumberbatch is amazing in it. Mm-hmm. Well, he's amazing yeah. in pretty much anything. Yeah. So I think he was the saving grace in Star Trek. Um, <laughs> Even though I have not seen it, <laughs> it wasn't bad. I've heard. I mean, yeah, it's a, written by a crazy man, and mm-hmm. it's elements of the Wrath of Khan redone. Mm-hmm. But people who say it's a reboot of the Wrath or a remake of the Wrath of Khan are, it's really not. Oh, yeah. Every element of it is different. And then we have the best motion picture musical or comedy. Um, starting off the list is Into the Woods. Birdman. Grand Budapest Hotel. St. Vincent. And Pride. Says that my two favorite movies I've seen this year. <laughs> uh, Birdman and Grand Budapest Hotel. Yeah. I, something tells me, I mean, I haven't seen End of the Woods yet, because End of the Woods is not out yet. I, I expect it to be really, really good. Um, I'm kind of shocked that Annie wasn't nominated, because I, I really do believe that the Golden Globes tend to vote for shit. Um, I just think you can buy one. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the other thing. Like, I think it was like, I don't watch the Golden Globes because, like, a couple years ago, Bridget Jones' Diary 2 was nominated for Best Comedy. And I'm like, Ooh. yeah, I'm done watching you. <laughs> I heard even the book wasn't good. Yeah. But uh, Birdman, though, we just actually came back just yeah. from seeing it. It is... Still digesting. Uh, yeah, in my head, I'm just like, this is amazing. I'm probably going to have a review up later tonight. It's, it's got a lot of... I'm sure there's a name for it, but the long, continuous, moving camera, single take shots mm-hmm. that there must be edits in there, but I seriously couldn't find them. And Michael Keaton was amazing. Uh, Ed Norton was amazing. Zach Galifianakis <laughs> was really good. I didn't even know that was him. I'm like, it looks like him, but I, I really just thought he was just a fat guy with a beard. Like, it's, Zach Galifianakis is one of those guys that, because he does a lot of stupid movies, you can forget them. The guy can actually act really yeah. well. I so, wanted him to be nominated for It's Kind of a Funny Story, but mm-hmm. he wasn't. And then we have the Grand Budapest Hotel. Oh, I loved that movie. Wes Anderson at his best. Uh, <laughs> it's that. That's another... Birdman and Grand Budapest Hotel were the only two movies I walked out of and realized... Fairly obvious elements of the, <laughs> of the direction and art direction and editing and all of that mm-hmm. hours later and just kind of question what they meant. Any <laughs> other movie, that happens, and I'm like, oh, that happened. Yeah. This, it was like, oh, that happened, and this is why that happened. I mean, especially with Birdman, I, I really thought, yeah, it's, you, you don't know when he was crazy, you did know when he was crazy, and then sometimes it's like, you didn't know. and I really... I really kind of did think for a lot of it that he did have some sort of psychic powers. <laughs> Same here. Like, when I first saw it, like, when he first turned out, I'm like, does he have powers? And... Is that the thing here? And then I realized when he when he started having the meltdowns, it's like, yeah, yeah. you're just having meltdowns. That's, that's Yeah, he's delusional. and oh. I was expecting, like, at one part, like, he said, I'm going to drop this and do Birdman 4. Yeah, I was... That's what I was expecting. I was expecting the finale to be his great, his grand, like, re-entry into movie stardom doing Birdman 4. I really thought that's what the, that was going to be the climax. I just love the jabs that they had at the superhero genre in general. They had a lot of superhero actors on that. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, St. Vincent, um... I know nothing about that. I know nothing about it outside of the fact that it stars... Bill Murray and people are going gagas over Bill Murray, which you know he's Bill Murray. You can't go wrong with him. And then Pride, um, I'd never heard of Pride. It's a documentary about lions. Probably. It's. Uh, I can't think. It's of a British else film. Else. It's a comedy. Writer. Oh, I thought that was. Oh, I know that one. I think. That's where it's like a, there's, I want to say there's like a strike in a coal town and like, uh, 
gay group goes yeah. to help them out and lesbian like, gay groups support the minors yeah it's it's about like the conflicts between the two groups and them coming to terms and stuff who's in it bill, bill nye. nye he's awesome yeah so uh andrew scott's good uh i haven't heard any of these other people yeah i i, I recognize a couple but not enough to like say anything about them but mm. I'm a sucker for Bill Nye. And yeah. any, I'm going to go see uh, Second Best Exotic Marigold Hotel because Bill Nye is... <laughs> yeah. oh, It's really hard to say his name without it sounding like Bill, Bill Nye, Nye. The science guy. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, too. And then, let's see what St. Vincent's about. It's just the plot synopsis is just going to say Bill Murray. I wouldn't be surprised. Is this the... I feel like I've seen posters for this, but it's, I don't think it's been showing around here. Have no, I, I Did haven't. Did Boyhood even show around here? I don't think so. Because and... I knew I wanted to see it when I heard about all the stuff that went into it, but mm. I just wasn't able to find it. Bill Murray, Bill Murray. Hey. Yeah, St. Vincent. They need to do something to get Bill Murray into the next Avengers movie. That would be awesome. He's a drunken gambling war veteran. Okay, you're gonna probably get a nomination. Yeah. <laughs> well, I loved that was one of my favorite reactions ever to uh, Oscar win was when he was up the same year as Jamie Fox for Ray, yeah. and Jamie Fox won, and it just cut to him in the crowd, and he just gets up and tears the cards with his. <laughs> Oh, Bill that, Murray. That's, the, that's the way to do it. You know, you know you're not going to win. Yeah. So have fun with it. Yeah. I loved, though, that was one of the... Because that year, Jamie Foxx gave the exact same speech. Or he didn't give the exact same speech, but he started with the same little story about Ray Charles mm -hmm. in at both the Golden Globes and the Oscars. And it's like he told it better at the Golden <laughs> Globes. And it... Oh... I laughed. It was fun. And then AFI, the American Film Institution, has released their films of 2014. And usually these are the films that get nominated. It's usually, I think, like 90% of them usually are up for the best picture. I've never heard of American Sniper. Yeah, it's uh, Clint Eastwood. Ah. Um, directing or starring? I think it's directing. And um, it's pretty much, it's a war movie. Yeah, I assume. It's not. It's not a musical. Aww. Like Jersey Boys. <laughs> Tap dancing with a rifle. Yeah, just, yeah the real sh life Chris Kyle, and his and his duties in Iraq. So, something okay. tells me. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that's like. It's. It seems like every uh, Clint Eastwood movie is just desperately trying to get that. Has he ever won a director's Oscar? Did he uh, direct Million, Forgiven? Million Dollar Baby. Ah, right. Um. You want an acting for Unforgiven, right? I believe so. Yeah. And then we have Birdman once again. Birdman. And Boyhood. Yeah, it's... I think Boyhood's going to take everything just yeah. for the audacity of it. You know, It's like when uh, The Return of the King won Best Picture. Mm -hmm. When it was... Like, everybody said, like... This is not the Academy saying that Return of the King was the best movie this year. But it's them rewarding the entire Lord of the Rings, like, yeah. undertaking. Yeah. And so I can picture them doing that again for Boyhood. Mm -hmm. And I've also heard Boyhood's just absolutely amazing. Yeah. Well, it's Obama's, one of Obama's favorite movies. Uh, we have uh, Foxcatcher. Again. And then Imitation Game. Again. Huh. And here's a little surprise. Interstellar. Yeah, Interstellar. Did you ever see Interstellar? I didn't. I wanted to, but it's like... Me and my girlfriend go to the movies once a week, although we've missed the last few weeks. Uh, and it was like there kept being stuff she wanted to see coming out, and I didn't care enough about seeing Interstellar to like press the issue. But Chris Nolan's probably my, I, would, I don't know if I'd say top five, but top ten directors mm -hmm. working right now, so... It, it's a pretty movie. <laughs> um, I'll give it that much. It's, it's I think, for cinematography... I'm I'm definitely gonna see it there, maybe in special effects. But I can't I can't say for best picture. I thought it was a little bit too out there. I mean he becomes a bookcase for crying out loud. Yeah. I've uh, heard that. <laughs> oh. 
I did. Wasn't it the one that Neil deGrasse Tyson went to see, and then he came out and he's like, "Yeah, the science in this is actually pretty solid." Yeah, because they they actually had like a NASA engineer as a science uh, advisor on the movie. It was originally written for uh, Steven Spielberg, mm-hmm. but he backed out, so they adapted it for uh, Nolan. Nolan. That's pretty cool. Uh, Into the Woods again. Um, I can't see this movie ever getting nominated simply because I'm not saying it because it's a musical. But it's a Disney musical, uh, and I really think they're going to Disneyfy this the crap out of it, which it's not going to be an issue for the final product because it, all it is is fairy tales. But I think film wise, what was the last musical to be nominated? Ooh, I know the last one to win Best Picture was Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. I think it might have been Chicago. Yeah. Um, last Oscar. Musical. So you gotta, Chicago did a good job of like maintaining the whole idea of. They really, I don't even know how to say this. They bought into the whole this is a musical and had big musical numbers, but they also kind of gave a justification for everything, and it wasn't just people bursting into song. And mm-hmm. so I mean, they they walked that particular tightrope really well, and it, I think it deserved to be best picture mm-hmm. I love that movie. Oh yeah, that was a fantastic movie. Um, I think my favorite song off that soundtrack was John C. Riley and Mr. Cellophane. Mm-hmm. I, I love seeing John C. Riley in a drama, and then just watching like uh, Step Brothers, Step Brothers, <laughs> or watching any of the stuff he's done with Tim and Eric, and it's just mm-hmm. like, wow. <laughs> I mean, he's a brilliant. I, I think he's pretty brilliant. So I mean, it's, there are a lot of those actors where you just kind of forget that they're like good you know Mm -hmm. they do goofy comedies and they do stuff like that and it's like oh yeah this guy actually can act well well, robin williams went to juilliard so i mean Uh, these these comedians can't act this is going to be the first uh oscar since he died yeah that's going to be the big in memoriam moment Joan Rivers never in a movie. Spaceballs. Uh, <laughs> but right, you, but you, she's gonna be up too. Well, she'll be up there because she's really she was always the fashion. Yeah, which is, I understand that she's done a she did a lot of things for women in comedy and she really did like change the whole boys club thing and all mm-hmm. of that stuff and I I'll give her props for that but I've only ever known her as the mean fashion lady mm-hmm. and so I've never liked her. I know her from uh, <laughs> Spaceballs. I I remember her from Spaceballs, but I well, right. she was doing the voice of a of an android. Of an android, yeah. So it's which is going to be weird if that's the thing they put up in the memoriam <laughs> section. Oh. Let's oh. see. I am trying to find one. I don't. I think Chicago was the last one. Might have been. I can't even think of too many big musicals that have come out since Chicago. Yeah. To me, the musical is dead. And well, I can't say that. I don't know. I I consider the Muppet movie a musical, mm-hmm. and that was pretty good. And a, a lot of animated movies are musicals, but do you consider that a musical or an animated film? Well, I think it's a musical. Needless to say, oh. maybe that's up for discussion. Did do anything this year? Uh, let's find out. <laughs> This is this is the time where we try to find out everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, brother. No Country for Old Men. It's one of my favorite movies. Uh, I'm I, excited for Hail Caesar for next year. Hail Caesar. I've never heard of it. I uh, heard it's George about Clooney. It. Is he actually playing? Is it actually Caesar? Is it actually uh, like a Roman thing? Or I'm not sure. Let's find out. I just I've heard of it. It's Sid Caesar. <laughs> that'd be awesome. Um, takes place in the twenties. Follows the actor performing a play about uh-huh. ancient Rome. So, huh. very now I'm even more curious. Yeah, and then, I think I put the I put the Coen Brothers as like number two of my favorite working filmmakers right now. Mm-hmm. Tarantino just above them. Yeah, well, Quentin Tarantino can do it all wrong. Yeah, he, he's you know it took me a while for him to like. I have to watch a movie that blows my mind. Like, okay, I get you now. I yeah. understand it. Inglorious Bastards, believe it or not, was the movie that I sat there and went, you are now my idol. <laughs> yeah, I 
I liked Pulp Fiction. I liked Reservoir Dogs. I, I don't think I ever actually saw Jackie Brown. Or uh, I've never seen his uh, the Grindhouse one. What was it? Drive Angry um, or, or no? Uh, Death Proof. Death Proof. Drive Angry was the Nicholas Cage one. But uh, when I saw Kill Bill, it was like, oh, okay. Now we get in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that guy is absolutely fearless as a filmmaker. It's, mm -hmm. so, it's I mean, wonderful. I'm I'm excited. Um, we have Nightcrawler back to the American Film Institution. Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler. Um, I was, I was sad that wasn't it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was always the right. Well, talking about you know, I'm sad that this wasn't a you know X Men movie or this wasn't a. Uh, Jill and all might be nominated for that. I was so mad because I don't think we'll never ever see a live action Birdman movie <laughs> because, because of, of this. Yeah. Well, they they could call it Harvey Birdman. <laughs> that is true, and then yeah, so cop cop stealing from this L A. Yeah, side. he's like a paparazzi guy, and I think he actually starts like causing some of the crimes mm -hmm. that he covers and stuff. And it's just looking at his, the physicality of it, how he performs it, it doesn't look like Jake Gyllenhaal. Mm -hmm. um, then we have Selma, which Selma. I think that's that's, that's about a, Martin Luther King. Okay, you told me yeah, about well, it. Yeah, well, you're gonna do a biopic on Martin Luther King. Yeah, you're gonna get nominated. Um, Unbroken. Um, which... I I. Those kind of like this is a super uplifting movie. Always, I hate them. I really do. I'm one of the few people I know that really doesn't like the Shawshank Redemption, mm -hmm. and it's it's just so in your face about it. You know, it's just so yeah, it survives when prison camp. Yeah, and, and then Whiplash. Whiplash. Also said that's not a Marvel movie. <laughs> oh. Not at all what I was thinking when he when I hear Whiplash. I was I'm thinking of Slightly Whiplash from Double <laughs> <Dead laughs> Right. <laughs> oh, that would be an amazing movie. If they did no, the no. backstory of Snidely Whiplash. <laughs> a 19 year old jazz drummer. Oh, is that the one with uh, J.K. Simmons? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I know that. No, I haven't seen it, but yeah, I've heard, I haven't seen it either. I've heard J.K. Simmons is amazing. You know? So that's you know that's usually these are the films that we should be really looking at. Um, oh. when it comes to the Oscars, clearly I think um, Birdman I think is going to get the nomination for Best Picture. I think Birdman's going. to... Wait a second. Uh, what are you looking at? Best Exotic Marigold or no? Uh, Grand Budapest Hotel wasn't on that. That's surprising. Yeah, that is surprising. I didn't realize that. Huh? But you know, it, it takes a certain. Group, I, yeah. you know, that's a small. It's group. a question of who's making the decision. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to turn off my text alert. That's okay, because it made it more dramatic. Dun yeah. dun dun. And so clearly, I think yeah, Birdman's definitely because it's under best comedy for the Golden Globes. And yeah, kind of a weird call. I don't. I'm having trouble justifying it as a comedy, but. Because I mean, they go with the old definition of what a comedy is. It's not happy ending, but happy ending, and I don't think it was a happy ending. It's I mean, kind of up for interpretation, but yeah, I, to me, he committed suicide at the end. But I mean, he was he got that grand review that he wanted. He he, he made art, so I think you know, yeah, that's just me. It's the redemption of the character, I guess. Yeah. Boy, Boyhood's definitely going to get the nominations. Yeah, I think it's a shoe in I think it's... You know, it's it's a, a piece of work. I mean... Yeah. End of the Woods, I don't see it. Um, nah. But, you know... if they It's up to ten nominations, so anything's possible. If they stick close to Sondheim, I mean... Sondheim. Yeah. Selma, probably, just because it's Martin Luther King, they, they yeah. tend to do that. It's kind of like in streaming. I don't know anything about loud. who's in it or who's directing it. Or... Yeah, the theory of everything. I'm here. I'm seeing it everywhere. So my thing with this theory of everything, and I said this before, is that you've got Stephen Hawking, and you can tell so much that you can only tell with Stephen Hawking, and you spend half the movie on like his relationship with his wife. Mm -hmm. You can do that with literally any person. And you can't do the stuff with Stephen Hawking with literally any person. Yeah. And 
it's just a waste of potential, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then the Grand Budapest Hotel. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, I, I look at the last time he was supposedly up. He was supposed to be up for a nomination. That was um, his previous film. Uh, the one me and Shane like. Yeah, the the camp one. Um, Forever Forbidden Kingdom. No. Yes. It wasn't uh, Forbidden it's, Forbidden Kingdom. It's, it was something Kingdom. Uh, Ah, I wish I should be able to remember this. I absolutely love that movie. Yeah, it was one of my favorites. I guess a guy in the theater got mad at me because I was laughing throughout. Moonrise Kingdom. Moonrise Kingdom. Forbidden yeah. Kingdom is the Jackie Chan yeah. movie. Um, <laughs> guy in the theater got mad at me because I kept just laughing because the shots were like incredibly beautiful, and it's like there was something visually interesting in every shot, and it was just. Yeah, I almost didn't watch the Academy because they didn't nominate it, but they did nominate for best. Screenplay, so fingers crossed on that one. He really is. You gotta like him, or you know, or you don't like him. Yeah, I, I can see people violently disliking him because mm. it's not that traditional narrative structure. And... Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I mean, if this is gonna be the film that he gets nominated for, it's gonna be his winner, I think, too, simply because he's been. Kicked to the side so many times. Yeah. And I'd the, like to see Ralph Fiennes yeah. nominated. That'd be cool. And other news regarding the Oscars, as, as we skip ahead, um, they announced the films that can be nominated for Best Makeup and Hair Styling. <laughs> so, the first one has a bald <laughs> character as a predominant. Yeah, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I, I liked The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Everyone hated it, but what I I came out of it saying it was like one of the Bruckheimer Batman movies that worked, mm -hmm. and it's like everyone else just heard me say Bruckheimer Batman movie <laughs> and just stopped listening. The way I look at it, it's it, the way I look at it, it plays like a comic book. That's the way I looked at it. I want I. I, I can't everyone say compares it to the Raimi movies and. Yeah, you yeah it's it. not as good as the Raimi movies, but it's a fun movie. You'll have fun going to see it. It's just, I don't... I don't think it's makeup Academy Award winning, uh, though. No, no, um, no. That's studio put money behind that yeah. so that they can Promote say it's their, an Oscar nominee. Yeah. You know. But I mean, it doesn't mean it's going to get nominated, though. Um, we have the Fox Catcher once again. I haven't seen it. I can't comment on it. Yeah, probably a lot of, like, bruising makeup. I yeah. mean, it's pro I, I'm sure it's good work, but compared to, like, prostheses and aging people and mimicking the effects of, what is, what is, uh, I've said his name, like, five times, and I'm blanking on it, uh, Wheelchair Man, uh, ALS, I think he has, mm -hmm. and that has done some physical damage to his body, and if they can mimic that realistically... Yeah, that could That's, definitely do it. But they don't tend to go for realism. Holy sh... I did not notice Noah before. <laughs> yeah, Noah. Oh my god, Noah, Noah yeah. is no. up. Oh my god, that movie <laughs> sucks so much. <laughs> but what about makeup-wise? I mean, was uh, the makeup good, or was it more... It. I can't even think of anything particular they did with the makeup. I mean, yeah. the, the visual effects were awful. I mean, the fake babies were horrifying. <laughs> It's just, oh my god, so, I'm just shocked by that. I, I can't, once again, I don't see Noah getting the nomination just because, nah. I mean, to me it was all more special effects. Yeah. I mean, you got the, the stone angels or whatever yeah, you call the them. rock angels, oh my god. And then obviously the giant <sighs> flood, but, the yeah. The flood and the animals and all the stuff. The, the two movies I know will probably get the nomination because they're on the list is Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Simply because you create this, all these alien creatures and you... It's a lot of prosthesis work, a lot of uh, a lot of hair, a lot of mm. you know, a lot of everything. So and the yeah. two main characters require a lot of makeup, Gamora and Drax, because that wasn't CGI; it was yeah, full blown. That was makeup. just yeah. I don't know how many hours they spent. I, I just chair wish every day. I just wish in um, the girl from Doctor Who. That's oh, awesome. uh, and she was in there. Yeah, Carrie uh, Gilliam. Carrie yeah. Gilliam. Yeah, yeah. Carrie yeah. Gilliam. Yeah, she's. I'll call her Amy Pond. <laughs> um. I just wish that Bradley Cooper they would dress up in a raccoon oh, suit. <laughs> that would have made that more like way 
<laughs> there were a couple of moments in that movie where it's like, if they'd done this just mildly different, this would be my favorite movie ever made. That's how I felt, because it just, I felt like I'd seen this movie before. Yeah, I liked it, I really did, but it's like, alright, spoiling the end here. When he gets to the, when he starts singing, for a moment, I thought that, like, everyone was going to start singing, and... Ronan was going to be moved by like the power <laughs> of music and was going to give up. And I thought, this is the most amazing <laughs> thing I've ever seen. And then it was like, nah, it's, it's like a normal what, what, thing. What pissed me off about this movie, and I'm going to get a lot of hate for it. The movie ripped off Chicken Little, the Disney movie, especially with the ending, because Ain't No Mountain High Enough, that's the song they get in their spaceship at the end of Chicken Little, and they fly off, and they all start singing, and that's the song at the end of the movie <laughs> of Cars on the And I'm just like, Chicken Little did that! It surprised the hell out of me that Chris Pratt was the biggest movie star this year. Yeah. And then uh, Maleficent. I haven't seen it. I mean, Angelina Jolie is brilliant. I hate but, Angelina I mean, Jolie, so... That's um, why I didn't well, see the it. makeup reason behind yeah. it, and then you got the fairies. Oh, and... she looked spot on to the movie. So I really think those are going to be the two movies nominated: Grand Budapest Hotel, uh, period piece. So they I mean... might give it to them for just to throw Wes Anderson a bone. <laughs> yeah, know? Um, but it's again, it's up against all the prosthesis work in the other movies. It's just not gonna. Yeah. It's not gonna win. And then he got the theory of everything. That so, one could, cause if they yeah. can, if they r realistically mimicked the effects of ALS on Hawking, I yeah. remembered his name, uh, that would be pretty impressive. Yeah. So I, I really expect that one to definitely be up there. I don't think it's going to win, just because it's... I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for Guardians and Maleficent, just because you were able to... I keep going... Hmm. There was some year where there was like a realistic that was like spot on up against a big fantastical thing, and, and uh, every year it seems to play out towards the big fantastical thing. Mm -hmm. So, and then the next one is the contenders for special effects, and um, let's start off from the very top. We have Captain America, Navy. <laughs> um, uh, I haven't. It had it. The effects were pretty standard. I yeah, mean, they weren't bad, but I did. I didn't blow me away anywhere. So, and then be, I think the Donna Planet of the Apes. Oh yeah, the effects were way more impressive because I hadn't seen stuff like that before. And I here's the thing that I loved about it is like it was shot beautifully too. So I really think that's going to be a nomination for best cinematography. They took away they took away the thing that I hate so much in Hollywood, and that's the shaky cam. Ah, uh, they they finally did it, and I mean the fight scene between the two gorillas. It looks real. It was well done. All like that. And you have... It's all motion capture technology, so that's usually a good sign. And the characters do look like apes. And you have the rundown city, which that requires special effects. Yeah. It, it wasn't, um, you know, it's practical effects. It's something that hasn't really been seen before, and that was pretty, pretty cool. Pretty hard to do. Um, the Hobbit, that's another one I think is going to take it. Uh, I can um, see it being nominated. Yeah, it's going to be nominated. Not taken, but nominated. Yeah, it's basically the same special effects we've seen in five other movies by now. Yeah. So. But I mean, the thing that people don't realize is that that whole movie was shot pretty much on a green screen. Oh. Yeah, it was... Yeah, and Sir Ian McKenna was pissed. Um, <laughs> which, I, it's understandable. I can understand you yeah. being pissed, but... Especially since he put so many years into playing Gandalf in New Zealand. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it's like... Because it used to be they would do more yeah, outside practical. shots, practical shots, and all. Yeah, and all of a sudden it's like we're going to make the hobbits CGI. We're going to do this CGI. It's not because Peter Jackson goes CGI crazy and um, Godzilla, which I was kind of surprised. Um, it, I think that's another case of just how the studio putting money behind it. Yeah, but I mean, granted, I think Godzilla is well done. I'm not saying yeah, you know. There's nothing wrong with... I didn't particularly like the design of the other monsters mm -hmm. in it, but Godzilla looked good. Everything looked good, but again, it was just kind of so what. I, yeah. mean, I mean, when I look at when I look at special effects, it has to help tell the story as well as be realistic and things like that. 
I don't think, you know, creating Godzilla helped tell the story of Godzilla, which is weird, because it's really about... Yeah, it's about... The soldier. Uh, Kick-Ass. I don't know the actor's yeah. name. The guy from Kick-Ass. Guardians of the Galaxy. Which it should have been about Brian Cranston, but that's... <laughs> Oh yeah, I was pissed off. I was like, any Kill movie me. with Brian Cranston in it should be about Brian, Brian Cranston. <laughs> but you, I realized that you, they were going to kill him off in like the first ten minutes because it said and Brian Cranston. You know that's yeah. you know he wasn't going to be in there very long. But then uh, let's go on to the next movie. How do you have the most like one of the most compelling actors in the business and not use him? <laughs> but all right, yeah. Next movie. Uh, <laughs> uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. The effects were good, but again, yeah, it's. They're... I've seen them before. It's yeah. Avengers. It's any of those movies. It's so, yeah, it'll get the nomination, but I don't see it taking the win. Interstellar. I'm. It has practical effects, which I think is going to be a big hit for them, but it's also CGI. Um, and it helped, does tell, move the story. You know, when he becomes the bookcase, spoiler alert, who gives a crap? He becomes a bookcase. Um, you know, it does look good. It does help move the story. The space scenes are well done. Nothing, you know, all like that. And then, any comment on that one? Or you know, I haven't seen it, so I can't say. Um, Night of the Museum, we haven't seen yet. Yeah. Um, there might be a nomination just because they give Rock and Williams a bone, because it is yeah, one of his last I mean, movies. I, honestly, I could see one of those just kind of like maudlin fake like here's a posthumous nomination for best supporting actor mm. was that his last movie um no it's, it's it's some it's some movie with simon Pegg. huh so i'm really like excited for that yeah you know what and i feel terrible about this my first reaction when i found out he died was at least now they're not making mrs doubtfire too because <laughs> that was in the works yeah and that was that's terrible he was a good actor and a good, great comedian and but that was honestly and then we have Maleficent. That would have been the real tragedy. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, There's more hate mail. Okay, yeah. but we have Maleficent once again. Well done, but yeah, you know, it's, it's the same things you've seen before. Yeah, again. It, it'll get the nod because it's Disney, but it won't win. Yeah. And then you have X-Men, Days of Future Past, once again. Yeah, it's, I, all of the superhero ones have good effects, but yeah, superhero movies have good effects. Yeah, it's just, but we see it before, you know. You need to surprise us. You need to give us something new to be award-worthy. And the movie that I want there to oh, be a nomination. I, want, I don't want it to get be nominated. I want it to <laughs> win. <laughs> just to say it is a Oscar with, nominated, our winner, whatever, Transformers <laughs> Age of the Station. That is... That was one of the worst movies I've ever seen. And <sighs> still not the worst movie I've seen this year, yeah. but one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Like and it. I want it to win so bad. It's, yeah, yeah, I would like to see it win just to say, oh, Transform as a joke, Transformers is is a winner. I think it's going to take the uh, nomination for sure, simply because your main leads are giant botanic robots yeah. in I, space. In terms of money put into it and hours put into it, it's got to be top of the list. Yeah. But it's Once, really yeah. not different from the last three movies. It, it, it's I want it to win the same way I would want Adam Sandler to win if he was ever nominated <laughs> for an acting one. Because mm -hmm. just, I want to live in a world where you can say Adam Sandler <laughs> is an Oscar and winning. Or actor. like last year with Bad Grandpa. Yeah, I wanted that to win so bad. Be nominated for Best Makeup. So, uh, just imagine saying to Jackass, Bad Grandpa is an Oscar winning film. Uh, <laughs> Can you imagine what jo Johnny Knoxville would be thinking? Like, I have an Oscar! It's, and honestly, it probably should have won. Because mm -hmm. that was all like real world stuff. And it was walking around and it had to fool people on a one-to-one -one basis. And it did. Yeah. So, honestly, that probably was the best makeup that year. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what won last year. I can't remember. It's, it's one of those awards like I pay attention to, but I will forget like the very next day. Yeah. it's What won Best Picture last year? Argo. Argo. Was it Argo? Right. Was Ar no, Argo was a year before that. Uh, Let's find out. I'm going to be so mad if I'm like... Gravity? Was it Gravity? No, because no, we were all... We were no, like... What was the... It was something about like... I don't know how to say this, but it was something about black people, I think. Oh, it's 12 Years a Slave. 12 Years a Slave. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 12 Years a Slave. Yeah, well. Sorry if that was an inartful way to put it, but 
I remembered it being some civil rightsy thing. Mm -hmm. It's not even about civil rights; it's about slavery. Well, that's <laughs> yeah. Freedom I guess freedom is a civil right. Yeah. I mean, Granted, I would have loved to have seen uh, Wolf of Wall Street take the win. Oh my! Oh. What country was that banned in? That was like outright banned in some African country. I can't remember which. I think there was like a bunch of countries that was like banned in. Um, they, I what I've heard, I haven't seen it. I really want to, but it's it's one of those that I don't know. I have to be in the mood to see, and I just haven't been. It's on uh, Netflix. So. Yeah. Uh, but I've heard that if it wasn't Martin Scorsese and it wasn't Leonardo DiCaprio, it would have been NC-17. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised because the MPAA are a bunch of douchebags. I'm not afraid to say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the MPAA is like the most, one of the most crooked, I don't know if I'd say crooked, but I skewed yeah. bodies in like anything. It's not, there's no real... It, it, what it is, is standards. They, 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 they put the small people down you know yeah it's owned by the like three major uh yeah, studios. D disney universal and malaysia and nepal nepal i thought it was an african country oh well so yeah and it just well the first and of 10 course, minutes that led to way more people in those countries seeing it than would have otherwise I'm Way for... more people are going to see the interview now oh, yeah. than we're planning to see it before North Korea. Well, I, I think Sony executives are like really hiding something in one of their emails that's like could destroy them. I think it's uh, I think it's like uh, AMC executives that's did it. something awful, and it's like well, AMC like executives are like China owns AMC, so you know that uh, I don't know if that would change anything whatsoever but i don't know if it would there but, you need to be the kind of crazy that north korea is to go after a movie <laughs> and china's just i don't see china like risking it but mm. but apparently like, everything all the hacking like yeah it was north korea who hacked it but it was china it's like internet they had to use china's internet to hack into their system but um so yeah, that's this is our show, our friend Oscar. Yep. Um, next week we'll be talking about animation. Animation. And the Annie Awards, and you know. Spoiler alert: Lego Movie's gonna win. Spoiler alert: It might be the Book of Life. Oh, oh. Yeah, that came out and, this and, year. Yeah, Book of Life, the Lego Movie. There's, Box there's Trolls. Box Trolls. I I see Big Hero Six get nominated, but it was too predictable for it to win. Yeah, I I had fun with Big Hero Six, but. I had elements of it that I really didn't like. Yeah. But um, we'll talk about more about that yeah. next week. So have a good night, everybody. See ya.